right, let's move on. To the boat, right? We're going to the boat? Yep, we're going to the boat. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Yeah, we need to go get that chisel so we can go fight some Valkyries. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Yeah, we need to go get that chisel. Wait a second. Hold on. Before we do... You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances. And not totally without reason. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Yeah, I want. I'm. I'm fairly certain this is where the Queen Valkyrie is. So I want to activate the. Um, I want to activate the. What's it called? The quick travel. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? No. Okay. Here's where the queen is going to be. Ah, could it be? The eight thrones. We just need to come over here and make sure this is Activus. Do you know this place or not? Ah, uh, Mimir, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. For now. We'll be back. Scap? Scap! Let's go. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom? Like maybe a whetstone? No, but can I craft my Cod of War? Not quite. Okay, back in the boat. Ooh. I'll take that. Strength and permanent permanently increases by two. Cool. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Precisely. <sighs> enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. Oof. You know what? I'll tell this one later. You were taken from this realm too early. <gasps> yeah, because we need to open up the door. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Here we go. Oh, cool, great, lovely, cool, love it. How about some of this? What are these Dark Elves doing here? We're not in Alfheim. Almost 
Gimme. Uh, Gimme that. Oh, you want it back? Okay, here, have it back. We're not helping him find gold, big. It's just gonna. It's just gonna be a revenant. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked. Actually, I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamu, a very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Oh crap, this way. Lord Odin. Oh no, you found the village? Aye. When Thamma fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. I thought you said Jotun or Jotungander was the only giant who was giant. Why is this guy giant? Hmm? A, a dangerous beast. We will take him down together. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Ready up, my boy. Yeah, let's go. We seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Hold on. There's some scap over here, I think. Scat, please. Thanks. His idea. Yay! We got scat. Yay! More of that, the better. Oh, great! I can already tell what's going to be down here. What happened to the survivors? Or not? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. See, I thought that thing was going to come to life. Ooh, hold on. Scap. Right? Come on. Scap, please. Scap! Let's go! Tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need.
Okay. Hostile. Where? Oh, more wyverns. Or whatever that. Wolver, that's what it is. Hey. Stop that. That's what I think about you. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Hate those things, but we're moving on. Scat, please. Yes, scat. Let's go. <laughs> he, he's doing the equivalent of sliding on a kitchen floor with socks. He's having so much fun with that, and I don't blame him. Come on, Atreus. Do the thing. I don't think he's going to do it again. Well, fine then. Yeah, right. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well, good. <clears throat> Head of Thamor. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. See, Boy. now, if if he would have said that in Greece um, about Zeus, then there would have been thunder when he would have said that. He would going, what? As like a warning. He would have been like, uh, he would have sent thunder to be active. So the fact that um, when Kratos called Thor a fool and nothing happened when it came to the 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 weather, yeah, I'm gonna say Thor is gonna probably gonna be a pushover since he can't even freaking control the, the the weather, especially if he's the god of thunder. Can't even freaking control when it thunders. If someone pisses you off or mocks you like anyone in like any one of the Greek gods would have done. Damn it, I missed it. Gimme! Uh. Oh, I can't hear over the sound of your brains on my boot. Oh, there's- oh, there's more!
Oh, good, more. Screw it, let's go. Oh my gosh, there's so many! Thank you. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Oh, give me that troll, give me the troll, give me the troll. And take this! Oh, here's a toothpick! Ugh. Oh, there you go. There you go. difficult oh it wasn't too bad it was kind of difficult but not that bad it was pretty intense Sindri how you doing pal wow that was uh, something that the fight here catch well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. Uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. I like how they can tell. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Sweet, I guess. I don't think it's doing anything since I'm in New Game Plus. Where shall we begin? Uh, God of War Tunic. Yeah, we are fish. Okay, can we upgrade anything with it? We can upgrade our talisman. I kind of want to do that. Don't let the dragger get you. Oh, don't worry, I won't. Thank you, Sindri. I love being fish. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Did it too early, I think. Boy, Farmer really liked jewelry, didn't he? He even braided his beard with it. I <gasps> think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow cup. Careful! My shop's right here! Yeah, and? We heading into that building? Yes. 
Do you think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Hmm. I'll keep thinking. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised Mamir hasn't figured it out because when he was looking up at the hammer, I had already figured out what his plans were. I feel like it's mostly because I just know Kratos. Like, I know his line of thinking. Because I've played every single God of War game. Uh, what? Why is that guy there? Damn it. You throw you bastard. Stop throwing shit at me. That's not fair. I just woke up. Stop that. Shoot him up there. I'm getting tired of his ass. There. Okay, yeah, I'm fine. There it is. Yeah, that was a difficult fight, even though I did it well on that attempt, since I didn't even use my Resurrection Stone. Like, whenever I use my Resurrection Stone, I end up dying anyway, but whenever I freaking end up doing it, I don't use my Resurrection Stone. I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war, so many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Oh, I thought I hit it already. Okay. Oh, right, duh. Huh. What now? Nothing. Ooh, you got most of it. Do it again. Stealthy plan it is not. That uh, must free the other strap. Yeah, it was never the plan to be stealthy. Kratos does not do stealth. Alright, let's go. Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so 
so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it now. Good. Good. Okie dokie. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck. Though. You are welcome to suggest a different one. Yeah, he's got a point, Atreus. If you got a better idea, let's hear it. Tight. Uh, how come? Uh, oh, no, no, oh, there it goes. Uh, best plan seems ill advised. Oh, it's the best advised. Oh, scap, right? Yes. Oh no, the floor squats. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? We cannot. You can. Go. Boy. Oh, 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 I remember this. I remember this. This this part sucks. What does it say? When time itself is discerned, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? From a song mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter, Quiet head. <laughs> music either. Got it. Winter. There. Vet. Flower. Sumar. House. It didn't work. But I know that's the order in the song. Okay, so it needs to be reversed. This needs to be fall. This needs to be winter. Spring. Summer. Right? There we go. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Cool. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon. The energy's lifting the platform. Yep, but that means there's going to be enemies. Head. How is this possible? I guess temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the high vanier gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to. Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. Yeah, I bet. If only you could uh, keep writing while I handle them. Come on. Okay, get get to writing. Yeah. For real, get back to writing, dude.
Okay, come on. Okay, get back to writing, boy. I'm fully aware of the nightmares. Yeah, hurry up and get back to riding. Father, the ball dropped away. Look away. Oh, oh, no. Jump. Jump. Thanks, talking to the boy. It's like, yeah, of course you can't do anything ahead. You're just ahead. What can you do? Bite him? Unless you have rabies, I don't think that's going to be helpful. A push. Trust me. <laughs> A push. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. How do we get down? We jump. Really? <laughs> really? Do not panic. Why would I panic? That's why. Oh, I was getting ready to push the circle. You're cracked, you know that. <laughs> You're cracked, you know that. Oh, well. Good. We should keep moving. Major oof. Okay. The chisel tip. Yeah. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. <laughs>
fucking god. Slushy! Mimic! What a banger, bro. Oh my fucking god.